I'm going to try a close-up on the head of this peregrine looking down at me. Yeah, this is our adult anatoms. Not much white behind the eye. This is the one that was here a few days ago. And the last one that came, showed up, like I said before, was the uh, adult tundra because they have a white right on their forehead. And this one has no white, so and it has a real dark head. No white behind the eye hardly, so it's the adult anatoms. It has the beige uh, feathers on the upper chest and the breast, so there we go. That wind just keeps blowing. There we go. Well, we're happy about that. You get a good detailed view now. Back off a little bit, maybe I'm a little bit too close. Maybe there we go. There we like that. You can see all the color right. You can see the beige breast now, and and the tundra is white right under the beak, and it's a little light on the forehead, and the upper breast feathers are fairly light. So but this is beige, and it's a dark head. So it's all the autumns. Those are the markings. I'm still looking around, I'll let it run. A nice close video, I like that. I don't usually do that. It gives a good chance for a close up. You get to see all the details pretty clear today. They have the dark eyes. And of course, everything is flooded now. All the snow is melted, so the ponds are double their size, there's ducks all over. So, Peregrine's on the hunt, wants a duck, I guess. See what happens. Back off and get a view now. Gotta take off probably. Starting to move about a little bit. Let's see how long it takes for it takes flight. Let's check out them ducks there in the pond and might be ready to uh, try to focus on one of them. Ride that wind a little bit. Well, I'm sure happy I came down, got set up, got my coffee so I wouldn't be getting bored. And so far, I got the eagle in the tree, and the peregrine, and the juvenile red tail in the bush. They said we're definitely going to get a little bit of rain this afternoon, so that's why I'm here. All right, I think we'll call that good then.